Hello everyone, this is Carly with My Memories. I just wanted to hop on and hurry and show you guys a few of our basic color functions. Uh, as you can see over here on the left, I have three photos. We've got my daughter with my husband, one of the roses from my garden, and a color palette that I found on Pinterest. So uh, one of the things that you can do is if you are in somewhere like backgrounds, you will see that there's this color option. Now that color option appears in several different places. Um, you will have it in your texts, you'll have it in your shapes, your imprints, um, word art. Those are places that you can find that. So I'm just gonna kind of go into that. Now each one of those places that you can find color, these uh, options go across all of them. Uh, so if you just go, we'll just go ahead and look in backgrounds for right now. So to, I'm just gonna quickly sum up what you can expect from each of these. Some of them we're not gonna get into, um, but I will highlight a few of them. So here we just have a couple, or a basic palette that has some general colors. It's not extremely, um, diverse. It's just kind of a quick sampling of colors. Then here we have where you can pick a color and we kind of give you some colors that would go with um, that color that you chose. So kind of create your palette if you will. Then we've got swatches. This is a, a wider spectrum of colors, um, different hues, uh, you can find a lot more of them in here. However, they don't cover all the colors, of course. Um, so we'll get into that in just a minute. You've got your hue, saturation, um, and then you have that again here. We're not touching too much on these right now. So we will be touching on the RGB and specifically the color code in just a minute. And then we have the CMYK and the picker. We will also go through in just a moment favorites we will go through and gradient we will go through. So to just go ahead and start off, we have our RGB. Now down here you'll notice the color code. That is when, I'm gonna hop out of there real quick. That is when um, one of these uh, color palettes, just like this one that I got off Pinterest become quite handy. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna rotate that just so that I can read the codes a little bit easier. All right, so here we have it. Um, so what's really cool is if you have that code, say you really love that purple color and you'd like to have your background be that purple color, and maybe you've chosen to have this palette be the color that you're gonna have your entire photo book. Um, but specifically for this page, you want that purple. So all you have to do is go into um, right here into RGB and all you have to do is put in that same code that's on purple. So F or sorry, 5E 556A hit enter and there is that exact purple. And you'll see that when when we go to right here. It is the exact same purple. Um, now, if you go into color and you uh, really like that color, so say you were in here, um, and maybe you like want to try the mint, so then you do F C F E four B D. All right, there's that mint color, and I know I love that color. So all you have to do is add it to your favorites, and then if you go into favorites. It is right there and now that there's that mint color now say for example you 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 like the background being purple so we're gonna have it go back to purple but you thought maybe it would look nice I'm not saying it necessarily does but say you think it's nice um, that mint color and you want to have your text be that well since you put it in your favorites all you have to do is put that right there. We'll make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see it more easily. And then if we were to kind of move that, 
then there is that same mint color. The favorites make it really easy, especially if you know the colors that you're going to be working with. Favorites makes it really nice and simple to keep those colors really at the touch of your fingertips. You don't have to sit there and go through that um, finding process again. They're right there for you. And especially if you have um, these color codes that are right here, that makes them super, super easy. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to get rid of that for right now. Now say for example, you have this photo of this rose, I'll rotate it so it's going in the right direction. You really like that color and maybe you want to have, um, maybe you wanna have your background be the exact same color as that rose. So all you have to do is go into color and you go into your picker and what's really cool is this just highlights over this different areas. You can see um, right now I'm kind of in that center of the rose and then this orange block it's showing me all the variation of oranges that are there. And if you go lower, then you kind of got the yellows. And so what's really cool is you can just pick any of those colors. I'm actually going to pick a deeper reddish hue. And that is extremely bright. Um, and I did that so that you could easily see it. So that color was just created from using that picker. And that same thing could happen if I took this photo of my husband and my daughter and I want to go ahead and have it be that blue that's in her, um, that's in her jacket. And all I have to do is go over here, not favorite, sorry you guys, I am in the wrong spot, right there. And I just want it to be that blue. That was a little bit more of a pale. I was going a little bit brighter. So there you have it. And then that function can work with mattes as well. Um, pretty much anything where you can choose a color. So right here, if I click on that color box, I have those same options. And that makes it really nice to customize and get the exact look that you are wanting. So maybe for this one, I want it to be one of these Nope, that was not the one. There we go. And see, now I can apply that matte. That's the same color as what's in my daughter's jacket. So that is that. And like I said, those are in any, any of the areas where you would need to apply any colors that you want. You have all these options. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, I'm going to show you one of the last items using this color palette from Pinterest again. So I'm going to rotate it. Um, another really cool thing, uh, and when I came across this more recently as I was coming up with some marketing materials uh, for our exclusive collection last month. Um, and so it's really easy. So tie-dye and Fading, especially an ombre look, is very popular right now. And you can create your own personalized backgrounds using the software. So I'm not really sure why I went into that, so I apologize for that. But if you just go ahead and go into here and you choose gradient. So there are five colors in this color palette that I got from Pinterest. So I'm going to want five different color sections. So you can see right now there's already two. So there's this darker red and there's white. I want to add a color and I want them to be spaced fairly evenly apart. So for each color I want to add, I just click add color and I can move that to wherever I want. So I'm going to want them about in those in those areas. Now over here, you're changing the direction that you want your gradient to be. I like it to be fairly even and to be going, um, you can have it go horizontal, you can have it go vertical. I'm actually going to have mine right now be vertical. I like it to be even. <laughs> all right, so for here, once again, all you have to do is click in this color block and you're given those same exact options. So I'm going to go back to the RGB and I'm going to put that color code in for that purple color. So 5B, 5, 5, 5A. And if I knew I was going to be doing this for my whole book, I'd be putting each one of those colors into my favorites to make it really, really easy. 
So there's that one in here. I'm going to go in there. And that's this bubblegum pink color. So I'm going to go over to RGB. And I'm going to put in FE. I'm having a tough time reading what that is. FE. I'm not sure if that is right. Seems too dark. Sorry, you guys. That is really, really small. Should have made it bigger before I started. I was off, so I'm glad I checked. <laughs> so if you go back into here, and we'll go back to gradient, and I will have to start over, which is a bit of a bummer, but that's okay. So I should have made that purple my color. I should put it in favorites. Five E five five six A and I need to change this. Oh I need that crooked. It'll look different once all the colors are in. We can adjust it if we need to. Yeah, it was eight seven, I think. That looks crazy now. It'll look better, I promise. <laughs> And they don't have to be every case. It's just, I'm just a creature of habit, and I typically do what it says. Sometimes it is tricky to know if it's a zero or if it's an O. And last is the mint, which, if you remember, I added to my favorites. So it is right there. And I'm going to fix that a little bit. So it's a little bit more straight. Okay. So then all you have to do is hit OK. And you've got this beautiful background that goes perfectly with your palette. Those are the basic functions. Uh, if you go into color, and in favorites, if you would like to remove a color from your favorites, all you need to do, and what's cool is you can actually add a gradient as a favorite. Um, that's adding the purple. But if I had, um, yeah, so you add it from there. There we go. I knew you could do it. <laughs> so if you want to add a gradient to your favorites, all you have to do is go back into gradient, add it to favorites. So I would do that immediately after you make it just so that you can make sure you put it where you are wanting it. So, um, but what I was going to say before I got distracted with that is if you go into your favorites and you don't want that purple one in there, all you have to do is click on it and remove and it is no longer in your favorites anymore. So those are the basic functions. They're really helpful. They make it very easy to customize. And once again, you can find them in many of these different op the options along this control panel right here. So I hope you find that helpful and have a great day.